Hello everyone, welcome back again to another plushy showcase. Now, um, this showcase is kind of random. Um, it's Marvel Pokemon plushies that I recently got. And then a couple just random surprise plushies that I never posted on Instagram at all. So you don't even know I have them or have received them. But... I thought I'd add them into this. So this is going to be kind of a random plushie review. Um, so we should get started with the ones that I've actually completed collections for. Since uh, it makes more sense to do the completed collections first. Um, yeah, it just makes more sense to do the completed collection. So um, give me a moment. So, first up would be Spider-Man Homecoming Funko plushies, and um, the first plushie of, sorry, first plushie of is the Iron Man from Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, so he was the first we found. Um, I mean, we just randomly we were at Hot Topic. They were doing a sale, um, and so we did it like it was like buy two get one free. So. Of anything in the store plushy pop figures um the only thing that was not available for that was shirts and um clearance stuff so we decided to grab him because we were like hey we collect plushies anyway so why not grab one of these then that so then that kind of started our marvel plushie hiatus on getting Marvel plushies so I mean we started collecting for now plushies quite a while ago but honestly this one and the reveal of the Avengers Infinity War plushies were our motivation to start collecting the Marvel plushies and as of now they have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Thor Ragnarok ones, um, Spider-Man Homecoming plushies um, Black Panther plushies and Infinity War plushies are the current movies that have a plushie um, collection for them. So yeah, he'd be the first. Then shortly after, we found this one just randomly at a Walmart in the kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, we had to stop for food and some other supplies um, on a trip we were on this last couple of weeks um, and we happened to find him and he didn't have his tag on or anything so we weren't quite sure but when I did do the research I did come up that it was the second plushie in the Spider-Man Homecoming um, Funko's um, collection so we did end up picking him up and added him to the collection now, the last and final one we found at FI, or For Your Entertainment, it's an acronym, so F-Y-I. Um, and we ended up finding him at FI, and we just could not resist getting the final one in the collection. Yeah, his hood just kind of pops off sometimes. So yeah, and so, yeah, he's brand new, still has his take on. I'll be taking his take off after this, um after this video. So yeah, we ended up getting all three of the, there are only three in this collection, so this is the completed collection of um, <coughs> the Spider-Man Homecoming ones. And I just dropped one. Uh. Um, now, the next ones are the Black Panther ones. Now, I knew these existed for a while. Um, I saw them online um, when I was looking at the Avengers um, Infinity War plushies. I ended up finding these as well. Like I was scrolling through Funko's um, plushie cat um, catalog. They have on their website, 
And I scrolled a little bit past there. Um, there was a bunch of Rick and Morty pop plushies, and then these. So I was like, I really want these too. I mean, why not? If we're gonna start collecting Marvel plushies, why not give them these? Because they are Funko plushies. Um, but to be very honest, I had no idea where they were located because Hot Topic did not have them. Walmart did not have them. Target did not have them. Toys R Us did not have them. So we could not find them. And then when we find, when I finally was stupid enough, or not stupid enough to realize that Fi was actually a store and not just some random convention, because I always saw like pop figures with Fi exclusive written on them. I was utterly confused on what that meant and then I realized that it meant a store exclusive. So we went to buy. They had these right at the front door on a special Marvel um kiosk um with Avengers and stuff and of uh, Black Panther and Avengers stuff. Uh Avengers and Video War stuff and Black Panther stuff. And I was like Hey, why not? So this is the kinetic suit um, that he gets later um, about part way through the movie. If you haven't seen it, I do recommend you go see Black Panther. It was an amazing movie and the plushies do speak volumes. I actually thought it's also kind of adorable that the ears are actual cat ears and not just random ears. Um, and then the next one is Killmonger. So the gold panther. So you got that, so two of them, and then rounding out the collection, we have the original Black Panther suit, um, from the very, when he really starts out in, in the very beginning of the movie, and in Civil War, so, again, only three plushies in this collection, but they're adorable, and can't live without them if we're gonna start collecting them. So, got those ones. I've been making a giant pile here. I have all the plushies I've shown off um, at my feet down here. So, yeah. So, the next wave was obviously the Avengers Infinity War plushies. I mentioned them countless times in this video already. I have to show them off. And at Fi, when we went to Fi for the first time, the um, there's one of the um, uh, Fi employees literally had just put four of these. Had literally just put four brand new Avengers Infinity War plushies, along with a few Blacklight plushies from FNAF, but I had already got those, so... But yeah, we had literally, he had literally just put these down, and we got all four right away the day they were put on the shelves. So, obviously this is Thanos with his little suit and little hands, and he actually looks like he's happy for once in that. And he even has a little infinity gun. <laughs> so that's pretty adorable. So, putting him into my arms so I can get next one is the Hulkbuster obviously um a bit weird uh this flap always comes up right here this little flap sticks up constantly I have to do that I'm quite a lot I mean if you don't know I'm pretty sure I mean we all know Hulkbuster this is the Hulkbuster from Infinity obviously a brand new more sleek version of it from um, when it was in Age of Ultron, and honestly, the one difference is that one, I am positive that Wakandan technology was used to rebuild it in a little bit more sleek way, and I'm not going to lie, I am very 100% on the fence, or not on the fence, I am 100% on the side that believes that Bruce Banner is actually the one piloting Hulkbuster in Avengers Infinity War, and not Tony Stark. Um, 
And I'll bet money on that theory. So, now the next one is um, adolescent Groot or teen Groot, whatever you want to call it. Simon, so, mean, he's got the green leaves on the top and everything and the kind of snappy teenage attitude look on his face and yeah, more like beat up and stuff and kind of, yeah, I mean, I like the whole, the tree look they gave him, I mean, he is a tree, a tree person, I guess, so, yeah, that's Baby Groot, or, I mean, not Baby Groot, I meant, sorry, still stuck on Guardians of the Galaxy 2, now, Adolescent Groot, technically is what it's called, so, I don't care if you call it Team Groot, but, technically, James Gunn, Director of Guardians of the Galaxy said it is technically considered adolescent group, not teen group. Um, and the last one would be the Iron Spider plushie. Um, and he's pretty cool with the white eyes. I love how detailed he is, and you got the symbol on the front and on the back. You even got little detail on the arms and stuff, so definitely a well made plushie. And like I said before, there are only four of them, but I, I just threw Thanos on the floor. Um, but honestly, Dan got the whole collection right away, right as they were putting them on shelves. So that was super cool and fun. Get over there, Thanos. Just kick Thanos across. Um, his next plushies I will do are... Plushies we didn't really intend to get, they were just kind of at fi and we thought we'd get them since, I mean, hey, we like this. Which is the Colossal Titan and Aaron from Prison. Sure. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's Aaron, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's Aaron. I'm just making sure I'm not being stupid. Uh, but you know, so the Colossal Titan and Aaron from Attack on Titan, the anime. So, if any of you guys are interested in anime and have not watched Attack on Titan, I definitely suggest it. It is a very good anime, and they're just going to bob their heads, because that's kind of how they work. I don't have to move them very much, and they <laughs> think they're headbanging. So, yeah. Whoops. Totally just launched. Aaron's over there now. Um, another plushie, which is actually not really. I mean, it's going in our plushie collection, but I'm. I haven't gotten into this show yet. I am planning on to, but it is. Um, Sam Winchester from Supernatural. So, um, we found it, decided to get it. Um, it's going in our plushie collection. Um, we're actually getting a bookshelf specifically tailored for plushies. Um, just like the bookshelves that I had at my home place for my Skylanders um, to do a slide. We are going to not only get keep those up and have the... When we get a new place, finally, not only are we going to have our bookshelf up for my Skylanders, um, a bookshelf with perfectly um, five shelves on each bookshelf. So one each bookshelf can have five elements on it, so it was perfect. Um, but we're also going to get another one for plushies, and we to display our plushie collection on. Um, so there'll probably be a, a, like two separate shelves for FNAF, and then one for Marvel, and then miscellaneous plushies um depending on how big the bookshelf is so yeah so that's Sam Winchester um and then I guess I might as well go with like kind of um another Marvel one but I did not include this in completed because um this is the only one from the Guardians of the Galaxy volume volume 2 collection that we have found yet. Um, they have 
baby Groot in regular form and then him in the Ravengers jacket that they put him in and kind of torture him in in the movie um, and then they have Rocket um, and Star Lord is the only one that we have even seen in stores yet so I have to keep looking for that um, and then I also have to start looking for the Thor Ragnarok ones too because they have Loki, Thor, and Hulk in that set. Um, Avengers Infinity War and this set are the only sets that have four plushies. The rest of the Marvel sets all have only three in the sets. So Black Panther only had the three. Spider-Man Homecoming only had the three. Um, and, uh... I'm um, just trying to think. Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, and, uh, okay, I got them three, sorry. And then Infinity War and, um, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 have, um, their Gal Guardians of the Galaxy 2, sorry about that, only have the, or they have four instead of three. They are the special ones, and you can actually see them right here. So yeah, Rocket, Star Lord, um, Baby Groot with the Ravender Dragon, and then just regular Baby Groot. Um, but yeah, he's the only one we have found in stores yet. So we'll keep looking, and he still has the hook on his head. Hold on. Uh, I know how bad that is for your teeth, but there you go. Got it off his head. Now, the other plushies are just kind of random. I'm not really going to go over them all too much, but I am into Pokemon. Um, a lot of people actually don't realize that, that I actually do like Pokemon. I have for a while. I don't play the card game anymore, but I do play the game on DS every once in a while, and I do still watch the anime quite a lot. So, um, yeah, Pikachu, Espeon. And Hoopa, uh, Hoopa, I almost said Hula, Hoopa, I don't know why I almost said Hula, but yeah, Hoopa. So I'm not really going to draw on those ones too much, because it's kind of random, huh? Um, and the other one I wanted to do, the last one, that will literally be my finale, is Baby Cthulhu. Um, I found this at Toys R Us, um, and honestly, I'm a very, I'm very fascinated in the... Cthulhu Legend and the whole Call of Cthulhu uh, game and just the Lovecraft group. I mean, it's just the whole thing interests me. The fact that Cthulhu, the, just the, the whole concept of Cthulhu just kind of it, it intrigues me in is pretty much what I'm trying to say. And honestly, when I found out that they were going to make but they had plushie that Funko was making plushies, and these plushies are only available at Toys R Us. So if you want one, you better best be getting one soon because Toys R Us is closing in a month. Um, I have actually talked to the people; that it is official. They will be closing sometime in we're in March, so March. They will be closing sometime in mid. April. There is only about a month left in Toys R Us's timeline, so it's sad. I grew up with Toys R Us. It's very sad to see them close, but yeah. So if you want a uh, baby Cthulhu, it comes in pink, which is this one. It's harder to see because of the lighting. It actually looks a little bit more purple, but it's either pink, blue, um, an army color green, and then a bright neon green. So those are the four you can get. So if you want one, you better best be getting to Toys R Us soon. Because they'll all be gone if you don't. So, yeah, that is, um, the last, um, I have for you guys, um, for this video. Don't worry. I still have a couple more videos um, to show to you guys um, and to make for you guys tonight still. Um, I have a big pop figure 
showcase still coming. I have a couple. I I don't have them to unbox for you, but I have a few mystery minis from FNAF and Steven Universe, because that's another show that I am very into. A lot of people don't know that I'm very into Steven Universe, which is a cartoon on Cartoon Network. A lot of people don't give it credit for being a good cartoon, but it's got a very good plot and story, so... Hey, I got some new Twisted Ones, um, and Sister Location Mystery Minis, as well as a few, um, Steven Universe Minis. Um, I have opened them, I didn't really want to wait to open them, um, that long to open them, but I will show them off still on camera for you guys. Um, and I actually do have a Skyliner to unbox as well, so... Um, and then hopefully, um, if I have time, I will do a video showing off my Infinity Gauntlet. So, believe me, there are still quite a lot for you guys. Um, tonight and possibly tomorrow morning. So, please stay tuned. This has been Collective Creepy Pasta, and I much. And please, shout out to my Patreon. Collect, er, Wow. Shout out to my Patreon, Portmaster9351. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.